I'm James the Color Guy. Woo! And today we're gonna talk about a Sherwood Williams paint color called Functional Gray. I have it right here on my little tablet. And this is a paint color that is neutral, but there's a little more to it. I'm gonna go into some details regarding it so you can be well equipped on your next paint project. And not only that, I have some trim color options, two to be exact, and three color pairings that go perfectly with it to give you an awesome color palette. So press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. So one of the first things that I like to do when I'm talking about paint colors is I go on the website because there's actually a lot of really handy dandy information and I see the RGB value, but more importantly, the LRV, which is an acronym that stands for light reflectance value. This essentially tells us how light or dark a color is in practicality. The functional gray has a 37 LRV and this is essentially meaning 37% of the light hitting it gets reflected back out into your room, into your space. Kind of a darker mid-tone paint color. And that does put it in the lower half of all colors, which means it's going to feel pretty bodyful as a color. It has some richness to it but it's not going to feel overly polarizing because it is in that neutral family of colors, meaning it's desaturated, it's a little bit muted, a bit soft, and it does seem to have a bit of a brown undertone happening here with a very slight lean towards the red side of things. Now what's cool is Sherwin-Williams describes this sort of brown undertone as gray clay undertones. And that really speaks to me because clay tends to have a little bit of a brown, maybe a red orange lean to it. And that's what you're kind of getting with this color, but it is pretty understated. So if you are thinking of using it in your home, make sure you test it out first. Make sure you see it in your space with your lighting and your flooring, and you'll be well equipped to not make a huge mistake. <laughs> now, assuming you are using this color and you want some other colors to go with it, whether they be trim or wall colors, well, I got two for you on the baseboards. The first one being Alabaster. If you know Sherwin-Williams, you are very, very familiar with this paint color, mainly as a wall color, I would say, but in this case, I do like it on the trim, the baseboards and all that. It gives you a softer option. It's more of an off-white, still within that warm, neutral area. It's a very delicate color and it'll just take some of the edge off of your probably already really bright white trim and make it a little bit more comfortable. As a darker trim color, if you wanted something a little more dynamic and dare I say complimentary, Homburg Gray would be my choice. And I don't know if you can tell from your screen right now, but this is a color that differs quite a bit from functional gray. It doesn't have that brown clay undertone. This one instead has a very cool green, maybe even a teal kind of quality to it that really pulls the brown and that touch of red in functional gray out. In these pictures, you can really see that green be very prominent when used next to functional gray. So this is an option if you want something quite different. You can also technically use this as a wall color too. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. But in this case, in this example, I do envision it as a dark trim color. All right, now let's get into some color pairings. Other paint colors for other spaces or the same space, and you just want more options. The first one is Bungalow Beige. And this one gives you an option compared to functional gray being a little more on the warm side of things. And it's more of a traditional beige, I guess you could say, but also feels just a touch muted, so it's not overly creamy or buttery. It has that little bit of gray to soften it a touch. It does kind of have that brown aspect as well. And also this one is a much lighter color. So it's going to feel a little more airy, a little more buoyant, I guess you could say. So great if you just want a slightly more upbeat alternative to functional gray in a part of your home, or maybe it doesn't get the best light. So you need something that's just a little bit lighter to help bring that sort of airiness and flow back in the space. The second color pairing gives you a completely different option, at least in terms of undertones. It's called Krypton. And this is a paint color that has a very similar LRV to the bungalow beige color we just talked about. But as you can see, it is very much a blue undertone color. And it's sort of a baby blue, bit of a powdery blue, has a smokiness to it because of the gray added in, which also makes it a little more desaturated and dare I say, neutral leaning. If you're new to the channel, subscribe if you're enjoying this, but also I tend to talk about these cooler colors being a great fit in places where you wanna feel a little more serene. So a bathroom where you want a spa-like feel, or maybe a bedroom where you want something a little more 
peaceful. That's where I see this color working really, really well, but there's nothing stopping you from using it in other parts of your home too. The third color is kind of the accent of this palette and it sort of has a brown slash tan base, but it does feel a lot more saturated. It's called Almond Roja. Roja. Rocha. Roja. Whatever one's correct. <laughs> I clearly have no Spanish blood in me. Now, technically this is part of the orange family of colors. This one feels like a ochre sort of bronze leaning color, but it's not quite as saturated as some other options like El Caramelo, for example. This one does have just a slight dusty quality, just a slight edge taken off. It has a 25 LRV, so I guess it could be even more saturated, but it isn't. It's a little more dusty, a little more powdery, ever so slightly, but only when you compare it to the much darker, deeper, saturated bronze colors that exist. Colors like Urbane Bronze, which we talked about extensively back when it was the big color of the year. And before you go, check out our Patreon down below. Brand new exclusive content every single Sunday and a beautiful growing community of supporters, which we really do appreciate.